You was welcome back this morning to the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Our guest on set this morning, Dr. Faith B. Yisrael, the Secretary for the Division of Health, Wellness and Social Protection. Uh, she's on the, pro the program with us this morning to chat with us about the division's move. Good morning and welcome to Dr. B. Yisrael. Good morning, Ria. Thanks for having me here. So, yes, the division is moving. Uh, all of the, the headquarters of the division is moving, and I thought it important to come and let Tobago know Definitely. that from next week or so, you would have to come to a new location to find us. So, where are we right now? We are right after course cutters. Right. Everybody knows that that is where we are, right after course cutters across from uh, uh, Tobago, um, across from school, that yes. area there. <laughs> Where we are actually moving to very close further inside Glen Road to Montessori Drive, which is no local balance opposite where Comdev is right now. Okay, so if, I don't know if you noticed, there's a large two, st uh, a large yes, five that story in, building that is being constructed. Yeah. That is where the division will be um, from next week. Question, purpose of the move. Purpose of the move. Um, I don't know if you all remember when the division moved to where we are now. There was a bit of upheaval. There was a bit of bacchanal. There was a bit of why all you moving into a smaller space. It do make sense. Blah, 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 blah. We will not go down that road. Ria. But then we started. <laughs> we adjusted. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. We started readjusting. But when I came in, I realized that it really still did not make a lot of sense. Um, our social workers, for example, did not have space to actually interview their clients because they mm. were all crap in like sardines and a right. little area so there, was no there was no privacy we had the entire department of social protection in a room that is probably as big as the studio kid you not um so what we've done is is decided to move to a space where we actually have space for all of our departments mm -hmm. even the departments that we will be building out into you know because the department of health and so forth we are building that out for the division soon so this in this space we will have enough space for social workers for counselors for everyone to to be there even departments that are not in the same space right now so like mm -hmm. mediation and probation and so forth they are all going to be there even the Tobago Regional Health Authority is going to be moving from where their headquarters is right now and moving into that building so it really will be a one-stop shop for everything relating to health and social protection question the car park was already crammed with uh, employees and visitors to come live. Um, how would, do you plan on facilitating persons visiting the division? Right, certainly. So that is something that is actually building out also. Uh, one of the spaces that people do, aren't even aware of is that there's actually a building behind where our building is that will also be part of the structure, uh, part of what we will occupy, and right. there will be parking spaces behind it. Uh, if you think about driving into Montessori Drive, there's yes. an area that looks kind of like a um, like a warehouse kind of like a thing right now Th that will also be converted to parking spaces right. so we will actually have over a hundred and fifty parking spots designated to the Division of Health Wellness and Social Protection by the time we're done doing that external work which by the way is way more than the 20 that we have now so anything more is better <laughs> than what we have currently. It's way more than the 20 we have now. And if you remember, I, I remember the first time I went into that building, I, I kind of realized that, oh my goodness, I am almost about to die crossing the road around that blind corner to get into that building. So I thought, mm -mm, this is not going to work. Let's do what we need to do. Uh, let's pull all of the different, the different components together. Let's all be in one space. Um, this is an opportunity for us to improve our IT and all of that, at, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. So it's just a matter of, of time. So this week, uh, Thursday and Friday, the head office would actually be closed on Thursday and Friday to facilitate that move. And I'm hoping that by next week, Monday, we will be open at the new facility, uh, which again is Montessori Drive, number five Montessori Drive, which is that big green building right. opposite Comdev. And that move takes place in time for the end of the month when persons would need to access the front services so that you're not running you're not Certainly. running up, down, and across. Yes, and what we've actually done is worked with each of the departments to say, okay, so we're giving you your boxes, we are, we are facilitating the move, let's do this in a way that makes sense. So the administrator has been coordinating all of this. It is not going to affect salaries or anything like that because we're doing it in that kind of, mm -hmm. in, in that way. 
All right. And what would be the number to call, I mean, for further information? Because we're talking today, Monday. We're talking Monday to Wednesday. Um, things would be functioning, or you would be functional, and the Thursday, Friday closed until... Until Monday, Monday the 28th, yes. So the number to call is 639-3395, and that's extension 47111. Again, 639-3395, and extension 47111. Or oh, everybody knows my telephone number, 494-8827. Message me, message, do call, because I mightn't be able to answer. So message me, and I can give you more information. All right, things have got more hectic, and I know I know you've you've come under fire some time ago that persons were trying to contact you and unable to. I mean, it's a busy it's a busy day, okay. And if you know anything, if you know anything about you, you are one of those who, when you hit the ground, you hit the ground running hard. Mm -hmm. So message, don't call message. Well, you know, I I am I. There are people who call me at six o'clock on a Sunday morning, and I answer the phone. I, so I, don't, call I don't understand why people are respond. saying that they are not getting me. I don't yes. understand that at all. But I guess, but I think, let me just plug that though. I think people need to recognize that as much as we are assemblymen and we are secretaries and assistant secretaries, we are also human beings. Yes, and, and you, human you get beings tired. that get tired and all of that stuff as well. So. But anyway, we're moving and we're moving to a bigger, brighter space and we're hoping that that move would allow us to provide better service to the people of Tobago. Okay, so definitely, I think it's, this is a good move, a good move in a good direction so you don't have to run up, down, across to get through with your services. So I want to thank you this morning, Dr. Faith, for being on the program with us. Thanks for having me. Pleasure all right, and all here. the best to you. Maybe at another time we'll talk more about the cataract surgeries and what's been happening. But viewers, we thank you for joining us for this segment. Lots more coming up on the program, so share the live. Share the live, share the live. Excuse me, Mr. Man.